Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and just kind of, today's been a very, very odd day. So, here we are, gonna do a little, uh, another, another chill-ish episode of Coffee Craft. Uh, I'm taking a slight break from that project. I... Uh, <laughs> I, I will get back to that. That that this is going to be the priority for the next few weeks, uh, especially since uh, they're already getting into the pre-release of 1.18, and we were doing Skyblock until 1.18. Uh, no, no other major goals for <laughs> for that. So uh, I don't know. I mean, it's going to feel bad to not have that finished. So I need to I need to get cracking on that. Uh, but not today. Today. I want to work on some of the animal farms. Like, I've got you know, a couple of the cows over there. I've got a couple of sheep around there. Um, I still haven't replaced my three... Oh. oh. I swear I thought I broke something. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I still haven't built uh, the sheep farm, or I still haven't replaced the, the three villagers. And I think I've got... No, oh, I've got the two pigs. Oh, and I do have a horse. Okay, of course, of course. I should totally name it Mr. Ed. Uh, I probably need to bring that horse up to the top as well. Uh, I still... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still need to get my mule up uh, up there too, along with those other two skeletal horses. Uh, those probably aren't going to happen today, though, because I think I needed to knock out a couple of blocks to get everything to fit up the stairwell, and Reyes doesn't, uh, hasn't expanded that stairwell just yet, so that's probably going to have to, uh, well, I mean, unless I want to make a, uh, unless I want to make a water, a water elevator. Do I really want to build a giant spiral staircase just to get them? No, I don't. Um, what I do want to do is <laughs> I'm going to need more rail. I'm going to need to come up with a design, uh, especially since part of part of the the holdup for the animal farms themselves was the lack of an idea of exactly what I wanted to do beyond have an animal farm. Um, hmm. That has been running nicely, hasn't it? Let's uh, let's get us some more dirt because we're gonna need that too. Oh my! Nope. It's okay. Let's do this quicker because I got a funny feeling. I got yeah. Well, okay then. And we're only 18 melons off from another from another four. That's a stack and a quarter of dirt just from the melon side. And, and, yeah, and <laughs> as we talk, it might even fill up. That expansion was worth it. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, maybe I need to see what's up with that one. All right, uh, what are the odds that I can, oh, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 that was a bad idea. All right, easily distracted is easily distracted. All right, so let's see, which, uh, so it's going to be not here, not the next one. This one. Why is... Why is that guy stuck out? It is the one, right? Yeah, it was the middle one on that side. Um, why did it not... Oh my 
Kingdom for some bamboo. <laughs> I, n I never thought I'd say that. I would love to get some scaffolding going. This, this kind of ridiculousness is what scaffolding was all about. Oh, well, okay then. And et voila. It is fixed somehow for some reason. Don't get me lying. Uh, night time already. All right, let's. Uh, how many? How many pumpkins do we get? Eh. Eh. Oh, oh, I need eighteen more. Oh, <laughs> and just in that time, we we're down to eight left for that one. Eh, but we nearly have two stacks. Two stacks of dirt out of that, which is good. Uh, although, I am going to need some grass for for the sheep farm. Because I want to make sure that the sheep farm gets me wool. Uh, if I were me, I would have put... There we go. I'll take two hoppers for this project. I'm going to need... Two double chests. I'm going to need... There's only 16 colors, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and eight, 16. Yeah, 16 colors, so I'm going to need 16 observers. <coughs> I'm going to need... Oh, I'm going to need 16 dispensers, aren't I? Well then. Let's grab some string. Do I have enough sticks for 16 bows? That's nine, so... Oh, are you kidding me? I need one more stick. One more stick. One more stick. That's it. All right. I got a whole bunch of planks around here in one of these, don't I? Or did I use them all? I think I did use them all already. All right. Let's do that. Because, of course... And we'll get that last bow. So that's 16 bows. Let's put my remaining three sticks away. Let's put... Right, let me put the dirt away before I drop it, lose it, or something unfortunate happens. I need redstone. And I'm going to need... I actually need to get cracking on the cobble again. Huh. Alright. My kingdom for a faster way to craft these guys. This is painful. Sorry, this is why I should have done a little more, a little more prep than uh, that I did. It was one of those days where I just, uh, I took the day off of work to get a bunch of stuff done, and I only got some stuff done, and some is less than a bunch. I mean, I did get something done, so at least there's that, but. Alright, so there's my 16 dispensers. Uh, um, let me... Let 
I'm not going to block up all of it because I know I'm going to need some dust. Probably more than I probably more than I grabbed. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm going to need shears. I'm going to need lots of shears. And I'm also going to need a lot of rail. And some powered rail. Uh, oh. Let's top that off. I'll go bring some stuff over to... Bring those poppies over to the composter. I'm pretty sure I got more iron than I absolutely need for that part of the project. But I'll, uh, I'll figure out what to do with the rest when I get there. There we go. Another four dirt. Alright, let's send those poppies to the composter. Let me block up this iron for now, just so it's taking up less... Less space. I'm not sure I've got enough sheep over there, so I might have to start uh, feeding up a couple more. Oh, I forgot to check on the most important one of all. Let me, uh, let me go. All right, I got room in my inventory. Let me go over to the cactus farm, because that's been one of the big ones. I really want to get that that sandcastle <laughs> sandcastle feet. I've been reading too much D&D. &D. I want to get the sandcastle achievement. Uh, eh. 48 sand. That's only 12 sandstone, but I, I'm trying to fill up the slabs right now. And I know I'm going to need white dye when I get to the light blue levels of the uh, the river. So I'll just go ahead and make that into a white dye now. Yeah, I'm going to have to stock up on that. Uh... I mean, I guess that's progress. I, I'm at a stack and a third-ish of slabs. So I just need another stack and two-thirds-ish of slabs and then eight more stacks of sandstone blocks. Oh, That's the kind of thing that makes you want to cry. I will finish it. Even if because some people said that it couldn't be finished before we started the next season. Oh, rails. That's why I grabbed all that iron, because I need rails. How many rails? Mm -hmm. uh... Let's, uh... Oh, oh, that that's actually a little bit more than I wanted to do. All right, that, that should handle us for the next little while. <laughs> yep. And powered rails means I'm going to have to burn a bunch of gold, aren't I? Gold that I am slightly short on. Uh, so this will be a little bit more conservative than I'd like on my powered rail usage. Do I have... Do I have three more gold? Two more gold. Alright, I was going to use some of that for other stuff, but... Uh, Let's cook that up. Oh, 
I'll fire that up while it's running, and I'll get another bit of powered rail in just a minute. Don't know why that split like that, but okay. Ah, uh, hmm. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more than twenty grass. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and get up. I'll let the grass spread in a little bit. I'm going to need... I'm going to need a piston. I'm going to need a stone button. Because I'm going to need to be able to push grass blocks down on top of... Oh, that's right. I put hopper minecarts under the grass block in the the sheep farm from season one. So but this time I'm not putting the hoppers directly underneath each one because that would take up 16 hoppers and I don't have 16 hoppers. So no, I don't, I don't need the button. I don't need, I do need a sticky piston, not a regular piston. Because I'm also going to need... Oh, I'm probably going to need more than that. Uh, I don't know how many of those I'm going to need. I need to make... Comparators. <laughs> Alright, note to self. Next downtime project. Make, make a bunch of repeaters and comparators. Because uh, that's... That, that's sad. That's sad. Um, I'm going to need a fence gate... I got plenty of those. I'm going to need a hopper minecart, so let me grab one more hopper. I got 802 of these crafting tables around, but there's never one where I need it. Uh, Alright, so let's get a minecart. And our hopper minecart. We got some powered rail. We got some regular rail. Uh, that should be done cooking. And let's get the rest of the power drill. i put my last two gold back. Uh, I'll put the sticks back for now, but I'm probably going to be back for those for torches so I can make more comparators and repeaters. Uh, what am I forgetting? Oh, I'm going to need glass. That is, that, that's, that is frustrating. <laughs> that is the limiting factor on so many of my projects. Glass. And, and, and my glass production is down by almost half. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Um, and how cutesy do I want to be about this? Do I really want to dye each one of the colors? Not this time. Maybe this time. We'll see. All right. So let's start backwards. And like those two farms, I will promise you that I will decorate them later, and I will almost certainly not decorate them later. So I will apologize now for the for these being kind of ugly. 
just, you know, if we're being honest. Let's... Uh, how do I want to do this? I go like that. Like that. And like that. Because what I want is... I need to get... I need to get a half slab so that way I can actually jump up on that thing. Uh, half slab iron blocks. Along with iron stairs and walls. Actually, that, would, that might not be a bad idea after all. And what am I going to decorate this thing with? Uh, I should probably keep it in, in in theme with everything else. So let me go. Let me go grab uh, a little bit of cobble, and it's a little bit of cobble, then a smooth. A smooth stone bit. And then we'll figure out the rest from there. I will probably pillage the stockpile that I set aside for... Um, I'll probably pillage the stockpile that I set aside for the decorations on the melon pumpkin farm. And... Yeah, that, that'll be the way of things. I do need to decorate that. Depending on how long this takes, I may I may do that. Oh, oh sadness! I thought I thought I had that problem fixed. Oh, okay. All right, I just need to do this right here for a moment because what I need, I need. It's going to be a block. I need to remember how some of this goes. And I... No, I want this... Down one? Double bother. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember, remember how everything goes. Because I think it was something like this. And if I put that there, that means I'm going to be able to do that, but I won't be able to open this. Is that going to be a problem? That might be a problem. But I don't have a really good way... Uh, oh, 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 oh. I don't have a good way of completing sentences either, for which I apologize. Um, all right. Let's fix some of this, shall we? Come on. And what I'll do is we'll go, we'll get you right there. No, that didn't fix anything. Then I can still open that up, and I can open that up. Okay. And we'll do that like a so. We'll get our comparator signal off of here. We'll get our solid block to power right there. Okay. 
because what I want to do is when an item is going through here, it's going to power this block, which will turn off that torch. Oh, I don't think I needed that block there after all. Which means I could actually go back to the regular thing, because if I do that and that... And that? Oh, no. I needed one more block on top of that. There we go. Will that lead to that being powered? That will lead to that being powered. And I needed that block there after all. So this was not all for waste. All for naught. It's nighttime. I just realized how dark it is on stream. Uh, no, I'm not going to try to fit a bed in my inventory, and I'll get to you guys soon. <laughs> Nighty night. All right. I am desperately trying to remember how how these unloading systems worked let's make sure that i've actually got this right before we go any further uh oh small accidents nobody was harmed in the making of these accidents except maybe pride all right let's put the powered rails like that and let me grab and there we go so let's put that guy right there let's put our eight iron and what should happen is this cart's gonna roll up here and as soon as items start dispensing into, as soon as items start going down into the hopper, that will cause the comparator to output a signal, which will turn off that torch, which will turn off that rail. So nothing will move until it is empty. If I'm doing this right from memory, which, you know, is... I mean, that is assuming a lot. Come on, go up. And then when it's empty, it should come back down. It is empty. Oh. And in here, we should have our eight iron ingots. Uh-oh. I am deeply concerned. Something went right on the first try. That can't be a good sign. And I didn't need the sticky piston in the spruce fence gate because I'm doing a different sort of unloader than I did in previous builds. Because I think the, the other one put a... Yeah, the other one had a gate going on these things. So I ended up not needing something. I don't know why I did the other type of unloader. Ah, this works. I'll find a way to hide this. It is ugly as all get out, but you know what it does? It works. Uh, now, here's the fun question. How am I gonna build out? I'm not sure that I follow the question. Because which one held the cart long enough for it to fully unload? Why did the piston and door one, or why I did this one? I seem to recall that it had something to do with space the last time, because that is kind of bulky. 
Not gonna lie. And that's why I did the sticky piston with the, uh, sure on that but I mean I can't even remember what I did all right well I guess for now <laughs> I'll try this one we'll see how it goes um, so I need to keep as many of the animals as close as possible so we'll get uh, this is I almost want to lower all this down just a little bit. So instead of slabs being there, I'll bury that there. And put all those just that little bit above the void. That seems precarious. That seems very precarious. Uh, that seems very, very precarious. All right. But I don't want to build this and then decide that I wanted it just a smidgen lower either. Uh, although, I do, if if we end up having the time, I do intend on extending the floor out at that level, which would then put the rails in the floor, or at floor level. So that's still going to end up being a little bit high. On the other hand, any any rearranging that I do, I don't have to worry about stuff falling into the void, and I got enough trouble with uh, with stuff that that that's the deciding factor. Yep. All right. So if this is going to be where the sheep is. Observer is going to the observer is going to watch me fuss with jumping games. So the observer is watching that block there because when that gets eaten, that is when it's going to power the dispenser with the shears. So I need five more. Oh, and I need I need to actually trigger that. I'm going to need more iron blocks. Because if I do that, when he pumps out the redstone signal at the chain, that's going to power at the... at Yeah. Yeah, that should do it. And once that grass spreads, I'll build the glass enclosure. I mean, I guess... I guess technically I could use the fence gates and all that, but... No, the reason why we encased them as glass was so that way the wall, the wool fell where we want it to and they didn't eat more than just the one block. Okay, nope. So we'll do that 
And since I'm not doing colored glass, I can actually, um, I can actually do this a little bit. I can tighten this up a little bit. So that way the, the sheep are sharing walls instead of being spaced out like we did the last time. Okay. Who am I trying to convince? I'm trying to convince myself. for now. What are you lolling about? Because I'm trying to convince myself. <laughs> yeah, and if I pack these guys in tighter, that means I can make the radius for the animal farm. Because, oh, that's the big thing I need to check. Oh. That's not weird at all. Where's my menu? Where's my challenges menu? Where's my island menu? I'd say where's my water, but then, you know, somebody might start looking for their mobile game. Uh, could we right click on the bed, please, here? Sleepy, sleepy. Oh! Oh! Okay, hang on. I appear to have timed out from the server. Oh, joy. Okay, well now I'm back there. It is still nighttime. All right, let's try this again. You let me sleepy sleepy? There we go. I can now sleepy sleepy. Yeah, I want to conserve the glass blocks that I'm using. I need, oh, space. Uh, that's what I was checking on before I realized I needed a, I needed a nap time. <coughs> Challenges. Animal farm. Within 40 blocks four zero okay okay so let's kind of let's space this out i i think this will end up working and i'll put the chicken sheep and pig farms on the other side and i'll make an aisle that goes down the middle and uh sure this this should this should work Because again, I'm going to take advantage. So there'll be... a glass wall there. I just got to get the sheep in there. There'll be a sheep right here, so that needs to get... Oh! <laughs> that needs to get pulled. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. There'll be a wall there. So the next sheep's going to go there. Three... Four. Five. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I need to make sure I have access down here too. I think I might put a trap door there so I can duck down or something to make sure that I can give the the minecart a nudge when it invariably stops. space Eight, one, two, uh, it'll also be curious to see if that makes the um, I can do this within the 40 blocks I think it will end up within the the 40 blocks but I didn't realize this was going to use up as much dirt as it is, too. All right, six more of these cells. I wonder if there's a way I could compact this down a little bit further, too. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess I could just have a... Since all the wool is going into the same spot anyway, I could just have a nice lawn down the center with a bunch of those scattered all the way since it's picking them all up and dumping them into one box. Which which is a thought. Do, do I really want a separate box for each color? I mean, I know what Reyes would say. She's giving me a look. That that actually doesn't change the question, though. <laughs> that doesn't change the question, though. Do I, do I really want a, set, a an individual pen for the sheep of every color, or just want a giant strip? So that uh, as soon as they eat the grass, they, they, yeah. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, never mind. One cell each will fit within the 40 blocks. Still doesn't mean that I'm actually questioning. <laughs> uh, I mean, still doesn't mean that I'm not questioning whether or not I need a individual cell for each one of these guys or not. Just saying. Uh, this is getting a little more expensive than I wanted, and I'm feeling a little bit of a cheapskate right now. Especially since I know the other half of this isn't going to be nearly as long. Uh, I need to get some mushrooms too. And I need more dirt. Which is certainly one of the concerns I had. I need one. I need one more dirt. Surely I've got one more dirt around here somewhere. Actually, surely this has generated enough for one more dirt, right? Bam! There's my dirt. Okay. One problem solved. Uh, getting the sheep into this system has not been solved, though. All right, so I got my loading system. I'm going to need, I'm going to need powered rails all up and down this thing. 
Uh, I'm gonna need power. I'm not exactly made of powered rails, so... Let's go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Power. All right. So we'll just do... Eight. And then three powered rails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. going to be enough? Oh yeah, that'll be more than enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Oop. That's actually going to push me out. Uh, especially since no, no wool is going to fall on that one because that's where we've got the, uh, that's where we've got the, uh, Glass block, keeping that from falling that way. Ah, words. How do they work? Let's toss two there. All right, that should be enough to keep this guy moving back and forth. And that should just keep working until, I'd say until the cows come home. But those are going to be on the other side. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's start at least on the first half of the glass enclosure. I can't remember if the, the, the grass will spread under the glass. That's That seems like something I should probably figure out. But not right now. Let's get the dispensers and the dust going. So we got dispensers... Give the grass a chance to finish spreading out to the entire bit. Then we've got dust. I mean... I'm trying to think of some ways that might uh, make this a little neater too. Who am I kidding? I don't need to worry about neat. All right, let's get this going because we're going to need uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, yep. Get our nine shears. I don't know if I want to be wasting all this iron. <laughs> A little worried about that cost. So far, so good, right? gonna have to make so many shears not again and I guess what, what's really chafing is the limitation oh thunderstorms let's uh let's go sleepy sleepy I'm not having that well I guess the more I get the the top part built out the less I gotta worry about that down here Matter of fact, if I can expand out that landmass 
so it covers where these guys are, I can get rid of that ugly roof. Might have to figure out what the dimensions are. And, and actually, since I'm still planning on putting that cobblestone catch and maintenance area underneath, I might just do that too. Oh, bats. That's what I need. I need lights. <laughs> I need lights. Because of the stupid bats. Oh, uh, what do I want to put there? Do I want lanterns? No, I need a full block light source. Fifteen, sixteen, and I'm going to have to farm some more shroom lights. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, I got enough glowstone. I could just use the glowstone. I'm just going to use the glowstone. I like the shroom lights. I would really like to use the shroom lights, but you can see that I'm woefully undersupplied on shroom lights. Whereas glowstone, I have a plenty. And honestly, it doesn't have to look pretty. Don't tell where I asked, but it doesn't have to look pretty. Just like that doesn't have to be actually perfectly equidistant. I just need enough power to get the... Keep the rails going. Oop. Alright. So, since I can't put a hopper with, uh, whatchamacallits, I'll put the light on top of each of these guys. Matter of fact, I'll use the light to remind myself which one is done and which one's not. Yeah. Is that all of them? No. Is that is that all going this way? That's done. That's done. That's done. That guy's done. That guy's done. That guy's done. Okay. All right. Oh, I probably should have put away the sticky piston I don't need. Oh, well. All right. There that is. Just a couple more. I know. Exciting crafting. Sorry. Uh, too bad there's not an animal you can get that would absolutely murder all the bats. Like... I have cats. I shouldn't have a bat problem. They kill everything. Ask the people who find random birds and stuff on their porch because the cat got them. Wow, that, uh, <laughs> I need a lot more iron than I thought it would. All right. And the grass will, or the, the glass will keep them from eating the grass. The grass will still spread from under the glass. And if that tongue twister doesn't get you, I still got to get the sheep in here. Always a fun proposition. Although I think I got a lead. I, the lead will help with some of it. Uh, maybe I'll make a maybe I'll make a stairway over there. Just can't remember if the uh, the grass will spread under the glass. I think it will. Let, let's, you know what? 
if I end up having to tear up the glass to make the rest of that work. I'll do that. But I think because it is transparent, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, since this area is already under the river, I don't need to worry about lightning murdering my sheep. Because there's already a ceiling above it. Which is a relief. And since this is two blocks high, I don't have to worry about the sheep jumping out, which is also a relief. Although I may, I may put a decorative ceiling over them anyway, all the same, just because. All right, maybe it will spread under the glass. Because that's less than was there before. As a matter of fact, it's just those last two stubborn ones. And honestly, there's enough surrounding that block that it should be okay. And I shouldn't have a bat problem anymore. That ate into my grass... My grass... My glass supply is something fierce. Um... <laughs> I wonder if I should leave the bat said underneath there just just because. All right, let's clear out some of the unnecessary inventory space. Uh, bat heads go in this box. Yeah, I've accumulated a few. Uh, I don't need. Yeah, I don't need the comp the repeater. I don't need the torches anymore. I don't need the dust or the blocks or the glowstone or the fence gate or the sticky piston. I'm not sure if I need any more iron or not. I probably need the cobble. I don't need the dirt question mark. I don't need any more of the glass. I don't need... Yeah, I don't need the rails. More than anything else, I need to start getting sheep in there. And I need at least one of each color. So that way I can start dyeing the sheep and figuring out what I'm missing. Well, almost each color, because I don't need white. They're all white. Uh, so we got the gray, and uh, the light gray, and the gray, and black. Yeah, th this is this is going to be a color order that infuriates Rayest again. I'm sure you can hear how disappointed I am. Very disappointed. Actually, I'm wondering if I if I should go ahead and just breed up more sheep than I need, so that way I know I have them, and then uh, get a little mutton out of the rest if you catch my drift. At least I spent some time crafting up... Uh, a fair amount of each of the dyes, so I've got them available. That's all of them, right? Four, eight. Wait. Five, ten, fifteen, plus white is sixteen. Okay. Alright, uh, I've got... Surely I've already got some leads around here somewhere, right? Yep, I got a lead. I need... Do I want to do a, you know... How do I want to 
do that interior. I, I definitely want to put something over the top of that anyway, just because. Uh, I might do some more spruce and dark oak, because that, that seems to be my predominant uh, decorating paradigm. Um, so let's do that. Let's get some dark oak. Let's get some spruce. Let's get a stack of slabs. And a st oh, a stack adjacent of slabs. And I'll figure out the stairs and other such from there. I'll sleepy sleepy for the moment. I need to remember my coffee more frequently too. Alright, let's uh let's build a stairway up here. I'm gonna want a path between this and the other two farms too. Or do I want uh, do I want this to appear as a raised no, I don't want that to appear as a raised platform. Let's uh let's do this though. Let's make make a two wide path in the middle yeah yeah let's do that So we'll do that there. That gets me pathways. Uh, I need to make it easy enough for the, the... Yeah, I'll use these to get things temporarily squared away. So we'll get those guys we'll do that that gets us a nice easy path up right way. Let's go ahead and just uh, put one there, one there. And that gets us up to the top. And then we can start our, our order. Um, I don't know that it necessarily matters which way they go, just so long as I get them in. Matter of fact, what I might do is I might just start dragging the sheep and then dye them after they're in. Alright, let's, uh, let's Let's get some, some sheep. Let's get some sheep squared away. This, uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> Alright. Free up a little bit of inventory space. We'll get our lead. Let me go ahead and just double the sheep population real quick. And then, uh, because I don't know if I have enough sheep now or not. Because we got, well... 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ish. Let's just, you know what, let's make sure we get all the sheep we need. Alright. Whether I had enough before or not, I should have enough now. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Alright, let's start moving the sheep. Uh, oh. Yeah, I guess whatever colors I get early are going to start filling up. And I, that is the other thing. I would like to find some way of turning all this off. So when these two fill up, um, actually, that might be a thing. If... Because if this is filled up to the point that that's there, uh, no. All right, let, let, let me drop the sheep in because I got a little bit of time before that fills up, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. I probably should have grabbed some wheat just to keep these guys honest too. Hey, buddy, get ready to uh, to get into your new home. Oh, come on. Or did the cart already pick it up? Well, if it didn't before, it did now. I guess this is how I'm recovering my lead all the time. <laughs> and what do I want to put on the top of these guys? I know I want to do something. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's working. <laughs> and the cart should be coming by shortly to pick that up. Yeah, and there it goes. And we're off to the races. We got some white wool now. My string problem should be solved now. I just want to I want to cover this up with something so that way it's... Uh... All right. For the time being. Because nobody's going to see that block there. I'm going to cover all that side up with something. Um, did that fire off again already? Oh, no. Yeah, it did because that turned into grass and he hadn't eaten it yet. Oh, I didn't realize that that was going to fire twice like that. I mean, it's not a problem because it won't, uh, it won't use any sheer durability if there's nothing to cut. So, all right. I just want to put something on top of that. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. And then what I'll do is I'll put uh, stairs ringing. Yeah. So. We'll get the block that no one sees to be cobble. Because that is the cheapest and easiest to acquire. I'll do some wooden stairs for this. And we'll put some uh, wooden blocks for the rest. There we go. All right. Um, I'll start getting the other sheep here in just a minute. But what I'm thinking of doing is... When this is full... It's going to put out a constant signal to this. And I think what I'm going to do is then run, maybe I'll run a repeater off of here. And then just do a redstone chain all the way down. No, no, that's not going to work. Um, all right, I'll have to think about that. But uh, the bottom line is I think my end goal is going to have to be to find a way that when this is on, 
and the power level is above a certain point, then I will send a signal out to each of these and power the dispensers. That way, when the dispensers are already powered, it won't keep firing and wool and entities collecting. Um, I just need to make sure that I know how... Yeah, I'll compare it to... Ooh. I need to find another item with that or... Okay, yep, yep. Words. I'll use them eventually. Because um, with the comparator, you can compare it to the signal strength off of something else. So I could pull a relatively packed uh, signal from a hopper that is, what, maybe a quarter full? Or all full? I guess I need to figure out how full that's going to be with the system to be completely backed up. That would be the question. At what point is that hopper going to be backed up? Because I could ostensibly have just five, one of each color, no room for it in that top chest. Hmm. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. All right, I'll save the baby sheep for last. Give them a chance to grow up. Uh, will you fit through the one gate? You will fit through the one gate. All right. Uh, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'll dye them when I get them in there. So I've got my white. So let me get a light gray ready. I almost wish I had uh, stationed all those sheep in there instead of it, it, in the fence I did. Oh well. Hindsight. Always twenty twenty. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. And I'll figure out this roof a little bit later. Let me uh, let me go get my lead back out of here. I also wonder one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wonder if I should try to pre-slot all the colors or nah, nah. I also let it collect as it collects. I mean, worst case scenario, I've got infinite on most of the dies if I'm willing to work long enough at it. So I'm not sure that I need to worry about, um, like, I definitely will end up, no, 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 get back in there, get back in there, there we go, okay, good. Uh, I don't know that I need to worry about, oh, uh, and this guy's gonna be gray. I'm basically putting them in the order of the die chart that I have off to my off screen to my left. It's the same. Oh, 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 oh. come on, buddy. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. This is the way we walk the stairs. Into the hole. Oh, that just went through, so I should now have... There's my lead. Oh, 
this is going to take forever. Alright, so I got my white, my light gray, my gray. Next is going to be the black. Baba black sheep, do you have any wool? Hmm. Is that the XP for making all the other sheepies? I think it is. Just one of you. Kama. I'm hoping some of those other guys grow up. Although, now I gotta remember how how long does it take for uh, for those guys to grow? Ooh, and I wonder what that's doing to my island score too. That's gotta help it. Between the iron blocks and the slabs and oh come on man, get your sheep up there. Now, the fun question. What kind of farm am I going to do for some of the other ones? Because uh, honestly, I'm probably going to want... Oh. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to want some sort of color indicator over each of these guys. And I might make it that block that's directly over them. <laughs> I, I I just realized that that's, uh, yeah. They're all going to be naked sheep. How am I going to know which color goes under which? Alright, so I need a white. I need a light gray. I need a gray. I need my lead. Let's, uh... So that's my white sheep. That's my light gray sheep. That's my dark gray sheep. That's my black sheep. Yeah, and that way, no matter what I put around that, I'll still be able to see the color wool over them. Okay, yeah, I like that. That works. That works. Alright, next sheep. And slowly it begins. Well, I never did figure out the automatic off on this one either, but I, I've been in need of so much dirt, and I've got so much more dirt to get. That honestly, that overflow on these two has not been a problem because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a lot. I'm going to need so much. That's not even gonna be a problem. Uh, but I, I need to figure out what kind of cow farm I'm gonna do, what kind of pig farm I'm gonna do. I need to move the egg farm from over there. And I'm going to have to look at some of the more compact chicken cooker farms. Although, I mean, I got the two farmers and I've been buying nothing but golden carrots from them. So it's not like, it's not like I'm going to need cooked chicken as a food source. And I don't have, um, I was about to say baker. I don't have a butcher to trade the raw chicken with. So I might just leave it a, as an egg farm and, um... Just keep working until I get enough chickens to, to meet the the directive. Although I wouldn't mind a way to like do something with the excess eggs too. Because again, I, I'm trying to make sure that I don't have an overabundance of entities just randomly. Ah, oh, you... <sighs> Come on. Why, oh, why are you being so difficult? Listen, soon to be mutton. Ooh. That's it. Mm. Uh, I think I'm going to need a bunch of silence me tags, too. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know what? Let, let me let me go do that before I forget again. Uh, let me go get sixteen silence me tags and do I want to? Do I just name one of each color? I might just name one of each color instead of leaving them leaving them named silence. Do I even have... Ooh, uh, do I really want to do 32 name tags? I don't even have 16 name tags. I have six. Alright. Let's, uh... Dip into what was starting to be an Emerald Reserve. Hi, friend. I'm here to talk about expensive name tags. Oh, <laughs> that still leaves me one name tag short. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? All right, never mind. I'm not going to name them each color. Not until later. Uh, you know, when I have that spare emeralds thing. Silence me since I don't need the lumber yeah okay let me go let me go take care of these guys real quick and then uh, and then I'll get back to my regularly scheduled moving of sheep Oh, yeah, because I'm going to want to do the same for the cows when I get them over here and the pigs when I get them over here. How many? How many How many of each do I need? Eight cows, eight pigs, 16 chickens, and a sheep of each color. Okay. Hi, right, guys. Also kind of gives me a handy cue on how many more I need to. All right, after brown, I need red. Okay, let me go get. Uh, let me go get the next one. Eleven more. Rinse, repeat. I might actually get this done before uh, before I end the stream. That'll give me time to plan out the chicken cows. The cows, the pigs, the... Yeah, the cows, the pigs, pigs, and the chicken. I thought there was something that involved mushrooms. Or is mushroom one of the rewards for one of these? Um... Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a a, a a turtle enclave. I am gonna need a turtle enclave. That's right, I get mushrooms as a result of the top chef. And I might I might try to do that one twice to get enough uh mushrooms to have a little spot for them as well. Yeah, I need to make sure that I get a space for a turtle sanctuary. Oh, come on. Actually, why am I... Why am I doing this the hard way? 
Oh, cause in case they fall into a different hole than the one I intended to. Duh. I... Arr. No, I can at least silence them before I get them over there. I'd say I need more coffee, but I think I let my coffee get too cold. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. You, you got a full block here. Doggone it. There we go. All right, let me go get my uh, red wool over that guy. All right, yep. Now I need my orange. And I'll go back to dyeing them once I get them over there, just in case uh, something untoward happens. No, oh, that's filling up nicely, though. All right. Be kind of curious to see which one I end up with more of, since I'm dumping them all into a common, common storage. Ooh, and most of these guys have grown up now, too. Nice. Come on. Come on, out the gate. All right. <sighs> Come on, silenced. <laughs> Is this the silence of the lambs? Or should I just rename them all the shut up you? Never mind. Bad joke. That pun works better in written than, uh, verbal. Come on. You got one job. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. into the hole. Huh. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, after orange, I'm going to need yellow. Oh, should I name the yellow sheep mellow? Or is that too subtle a joke? I need to grab my lead again. I mean, obviously, the these guys are going to start collecting faster because I'll have had more of them than anything else. Although, I think what I might do is once I get all the sheep in here, I'll take all the existing wool out, break it down into string, because I'm going to need the string anyway, and, uh, and then let it run and see see what I end up with more of. <laughs> Any bets on who the top producers are going to be? I mean, it is a random dice roll, so... I don't know. You know? Come on, buddy. And away we go. Eight more. We're halfway there. Well, once I get this guy in. That does seem to be working out pretty well. You know, 
I wonder I wonder if we might redo the sheep farm in the next season like this and then have the wool sorting system off to the side somewhere. Um, I did like I did like the way we had it before. Although I, again I need I need a shut off. And I don't want to shut it off. Yeah, no, no, no. We're we're gonna want to keep it like we did the last time. Because I don't I don't like that I'm shutting them all off just because my total storage capacity is done, if that makes sense. I really like that we had an individual off for each sheep. So that way, if somebody grabs like a whole bunch of one color wool, we're not sitting there wondering, you know, about, uh, you know, getting the line next. I had a thought there. It fled. It ran away. Um, all right, I don't need more dirt yet, but I will when I get to the cows and pigs, maybe. I guess that is what I really need to be thinking about is which uh, which type of farm do I want to do? Because again, uh, my thought was to do one of the um, in season zero. I had one of those cooker farms where there was a little batch of parent animals that you would feed and then the the soon-to-be food would uh, fall into a chamber where it was easy to manage and I'm oh, come on come on you, you got one job climb up the stairs that's all you have to do climb up the stairs see I even made them half, sla half slab size steps just to be easy. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh, give me the line wool. Fine. Fine. There's that. There's that. I mean, I'm not sure, given the the resources, that I would have actually made one of each color if it wasn't part of the challenge. All right, seven more. Right? Yeah. Looks in the one in my hand. Okay. Almost. And then I need to build an enclosure. <laughs> you know what's distinctly lacking on this uh, industrial platform? Finished enclosures. Yeah. About that. Come on. Let's get you quiet. And let's get our uh, green, <laughs> our green sheepy. Of course, now I won't have an excuse to use uh, iron blocks for redstone anymore. Now that I'll have the wool blocks, I tend to prefer. Who am I kidding? I'm probably still going to use iron blocks at this point because, uh, why not? In the hole. In the hole. Hi. Alright, 
that is working nicely and it looks like those last few grass blocks filled in under the glass which is good I should have plenty of source blocks for them to continue uh, continue growing relatively quickly um, I need that I don't know that it actually helps at all one way or the other but all right uh, after green I need cyan And I actually think I have way more sheep than I needed, so before I wander too far from it, uh, let me get my Culling the Flock implement. Let's get the rest of these guys here. And see what's left. Come on, buddy. Through the gate. This is the way. <laughs> Come on, man. I almost want to go ahead and die him and shear him out here, too. But again, now, now that I got to start going the other way with them, I'm worried about them falling into the wrong hole. Come on, buddy. Up we go. Upsy daisy. Into the hole. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll get it out of the cart then. Mr. Late Gray is not producing all that well. Or Gray, sorry. No. Oh yeah, because then it would have been like that. Well, Light Gray, Gray... Black, Brown, Red, Orange, Yellow... Lime, Green, Cyan... Eh! So the Brown Wool has been producing more than the guys that came before it. Even though they've had uh, more time. Interesting. All right, Mr. Cyan. Next is light blue. So close. Do I have it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got five sheep left. <laughs> Yeah, my buddy. All right, off to your new home. All you can eat. It's a little drafty. but you'll be spared a better fate than some of your flock. I almost want to turn that stairway around. Oh, because these guys appear to have enough trouble walking upstairs. Or maybe I'm just trying to move too fast. Come on. There we go. There we go. <sighs> why? Why do you, why must you make life difficult? All right, we'll get our light blue. And then next is going to be blue.
Yeah, if it wasn't a requirement for the challenge, I would not be putting together purple, magenta, and pink wool. Although they do come in handy for keeping redstone lines differentiated when you get some of the more complicated projects. But the kind of projects that require that level of sophistication usually require more hoppers than I'm willing to invest out of when you're limit capped at 50. So uh, there that is too. Come on, buddy. You're one of the final four. Not in the Battlestar Galactica kind of Final Four, but, um... <laughs> Come on. Oopsie-daisy. Someday the cart will come. All right, last three. Next is purple. And then magenta and then pink. And then it's time to get some mutton. Oh, I don't have a flaming sword. Because then I could get some cooked mutton. Although, honestly, since I got the carpet duplicator fueling the uh, furnace there, that's not really a concern. Remembering to silence you is, though. Yeah, because those are the last two. All right, come on, buddy. More serious. You're intentionally making this difficult, aren't I? I bet if I had a bit of wheat, you wouldn't be this difficult to move. Is that what I gotta do? Eat you like Jabba? Get get a little uh, little treat in hand. <sighs> For serious man, why could you not get that while I could where I could reach it? Okay. All right, it's going to be curious. Who fills up first? All right, purple, then magenta. <laughs> I ought to intentionally uh, put them in the wrong order. <laughs> I mean... Who, who would ever complain about that? <laughs> Nobody that can fix it. <laughs> no. That'd be mean. That'd be too mean. I would... I would almost never be that mean. you for before I forget about it. But I'm not sitting there trying to figure out which is the one random sheet yapping at me. Yeah. 
Come on. Oopsie daisy. Magenta. All right, last one. Last one and the sheep farm will be done. And then I'll need to figure out how I want to do the cow, pig, chicken, and mushroom. Because why not? Then we'll see how much mutton I get out of those two. Come on, buddy. I'm half tempted to see if Rest wants me to uh, just, you know, walk him over there. Come on. There's only one place for you to fit in there, so... Uh... this and see how long it takes to uh, hmm. I wasn't expecting that to build up quite as quickly as it did but string for bows and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I'm probably also going to shuffle wool out of that system into storage over here at least one row. At least one row in each of the colored boxes. Um, did I have another area that had... Did I put the wool in by mistake? Or... By previous plan. I think so. Let me just double check. Is what was up there? Oh yeah. That's where the... <laughs> okay. Yep. That's where the wool on the carpet went. Um, which means that doesn't need to be there. And that doesn't need to be there. Uh, so my gray, light gray. I'm going to want glass and panes and wool and carpet. Three, four. All right. Yeah. Now let's just start figuring out how to. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to start working on making sure I get placeholders for all this stuff. Uh, the wool on the carpet won't be too hard. Uh, the. Am I really gonna go through all that trouble to get the terracotta and glazed terracotta placeholders for all this? I don't know. I mean, I can buy the terracotta, re-dye it, and then glaze it. 
I might do that just to have the placeholders and all of them. Is there some other dyed product? Oh yeah, concrete and concrete powder. Okay. I'm not making concrete with as much trouble as it is to get sand. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so <laughs> there's a there's an unfortunate uh, concrete shortage in season in, in, in the skyblock season. It's a shame. It really is. I didn't throw anything important away. Uh, oh, sheep. That's right. I gotta go take care of my extra sheep. Alright. No more extra sheep. I can take all that wheat back because I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that for the cows. Now I need to figure out where the cows are going. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to need to figure out what uh, what cow farm I'm going to need. Oh, huh. So now the brown wool is coming out ahead. Interesting. Ooh. Let's... Uh, Block those back up into bales. Not bales, but bales. Let's get our white wool in. And actually, now, now that's making me wonder. What am I going to fit on that side where, where those were? What's going to fit in that row there? Something. There's something I'm missing. I'm sure there's something on this. Nope. All right, so there that is. Although I guess I could expand out the proteins so they're not all packed down into one. Because uh, I think I'm going to want... Chicken, sheep, pork, beef... Now, I'm still kind of mad that no random mushroom has showed up either. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have put that weed away yet, because I've got four in there right now, and I, just, I need six, right? It was six or eight. What's the challenge? The challenge is eight. Okay. So I need to double my, my cow population here. So that means I need 16 wheat. Because it takes two wheat to get a cow, and I need eight cows. Oh, wait, no, I need four. So that means I just need eight, because I've already got four cows. Math, how does it work? Even though I'm really going to hate moving each of these cows off of here. Hi! Yeah, so that's four cows. Now up to six because I get the baby cows. And I need... I need to get the hogs going. So let me go get some carrots and I'll get started on the eight little piglins 16 15 12 yeah we need 12 of those and I'll turn them loose in here so I don't have as far to transport them because I really need to get started on that too I still need to get my 
chickens going. Uh, I might as well get my horse going. Eh, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Or so I'm told. One and two. And soon to be three. here. Come on, man. We're going to do this. You're a healthy horse, too. Oh, and I need to get my donkey from up there so I can get a mule for no good reason. <laughs> I think I got some horse armor from somewhere, too. Oh, I'm going to need saddles. I'm going to need a couple of saddles. Uh, we do not have craftable saddles. Is there anybody that trades for saddles? Come on, man. Why won't you tame? Come on. We got this. We're good. We'll be okay. Come on. Yeah, eventually I do need to build some stables because th this hitch and post idea is not going to work out so well. I can already see that. And I really don't want all these animals in the middle of my fountains anyway. Uh, which means, where do the stables go? Oh, come on, man. Be nice. We're near the end of the stream. Come on. You know you want to be nice. Why you gotta be so difficult? It's a nice night sky, no thunderstorms, no... No thunderstorms. You're in a beautiful park with some bright green grass. You got company. I mean, sure, he's a little skinny, but you know. You also got the llama. He comes from a special stock. Hmm? No? There we go. Alright, so I just need armor and a saddle. And... No, I just got the saddle. Should I make some leather armor? I should make some leather armor. Even though I'm sure we're going to get some armor from one of the other challenges. We really should make uh, craftable saddles a uh, custom crafting recipe. Right, just double checking that they weren't. Because <laughs> I, some days I can't remember. Alright, what, what color do we want this uh, horse armor to be anyway? I really shouldn't be uh, messing with the light blue like that, but... I think I want to lighten it up just a smidge.
One nice suit of totally diamond horse armor. That's totally diamond. Promise you. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I can lead this guy up through Rayest's Island. Now, hmm. before I forget, though, what, uh, 612. All right, I got 41 of the 64 animals, so I do need to be careful about that. Six monsters? How do I have six monsters? Oh, 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 because, uh, hey, Beast Lord, thank you for the raid. This this is a nice little switch. Uh, oh, because I, I think the uh, I I think the five. Um, no, where is it? Where am I getting six monsters from? Because I've only got four piglin traders over in the Nether. I got the one guy in the iron farm. That's five. How, how do I have six monsters? Where's my sixth monster? These guys don't count as monsters, otherwise the math wouldn't add up. Uh, hey, how's it going, Beast Lord? Thank you for the raid. This, 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 is, <laughs> this is a little, uh, <clears throat> little bit of a reversal, although <laughs> I was getting ready to do the same to you. Uh, because I just finished the project I'd set out to do for today. I was trying to figure I'm trying to figure out where uh where some of the stuff from the island is. So there's one monster. Cuz for some reason Skyblock thinks I have 6 monsters. It's not the skeleton horses. Did uh <laughs> Oh no, that nothing to apologize for. It has been a while though. Good uh yeah. So we're still we're still on Skyblock. I might I let me do a, a little tour here. Uh if you if you remember from the from January, we started off with a tiny little island in the sky over the void. I've made a few small changes on my side. That is x -Medic Frogs over there. That is Rayests over there. And Diagon Alley. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Diagon Alley over there. We have Arcadius' island, which is mostly where he wants it. Uh, I'll meander over that way. So yeah, we started with like a little 5x5 five five floating upside down pyramid of dirt in the middle. This hole being exactly in the middle of where the old island was. Uh, I built up a couple of, uh, well, they were supposed to be small quartz fountains. Because one of the, one of the challenges, um, one of the challenges was to use a certain number of quartz blocks in a build. And so I built four small fountains and found out that I still had like four or five more stacks of blocks to use. So <laughs> the the fountains kind of grew a little bit. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with the design, so I'm probably going to be changing it a little bit. Um, in no small part because I hate the pillar blocks and I don't like the protrusions that are up on the corners. So I'll probably do something about that too. Uh, so that way this goes a little bit lower and you can actually see into the fountain. <laughs> yeah, Diagon Alley. <laughs> uh, I haven't done too much else to the top here. I I've got my four paths. That way is going to Rast Island. That way is going to Medic's Island. Uh, this way, 
I am going to build a castle, but it's gonna it's not going to take up the entire island. It'll be over on this side. Uh, I am going to build a little safety platform underneath, so that way while I'm building, I don't accidentally lose stuff all the way to the bottom. And that mess right there is a project in progress. Because what I'm doing is as I get dirt, I'm adding it up here so I can start working on the lawn. It's going to transition into a rocky overpass. And what's gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a river. But I didn't want a bunch of stuff spawning in the river. And with Optifine, you can get this really neat fog effect if you stop, if you stock, stack. Let, let me try to find the right words. If you stack different colors of glass over each other. So if you put a layer of glass, air, a layer of glass, air, up to seven layers of glass, the lighting will blend it in such a way that you get a really nice fog effect. So that's what I'm going to build all through here and around that corner. I st I'm still not happy with that shape over there. So I'll, I'll figure that out as I go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little rocky cliff. You know, get it nice and textured and looking all special. I'm going to put a few rock outcroppings in there too, so that way as you look down into the fog, it, it'll look like a, a little bit more of a river where you got little, you know, rocks and things that kind of poke out just into your area of visibility. So I got that guy there. That one, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it or not, but I'll, I'll try it. And I might build a bigger one over that way in a little bit too. But this part is kind of, kind of tedious and, and uh, frustrating a little bit because I don't want the solid wall look like that. I want it to have a little bit more give and take as it comes out and dips back a little bit like it's been worn away by a river. And I want to have it so that way it also has some waves and undulations in both directions. So, like, you get a little bit of a ragged coastline look like that, as well as going back and forth like that. That's been, that's been a little interesting. So, I, I'm kind of trying to figure out how to make that work as I go. Um, which has been... Which has been interesting. And that's all that I got going up on the top part of the island so far. There's going to be a few more builds going on up there. But I need to I need to collect more dirt to, uh, to expand that out to give myself the room to work with. Let me... You know what I love about Minecraft? As long as you fall into at least one block of water, <laughs> you'll survive. Uh, the crop farm's pretty much the same. It is... It... it yeah, the harvesting's automatic, but that's about it. So I got a bunch of layers like this. And uh, there's a water stream that uh, when I flick that wet, le the weather, the weather, the waterfalls. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Uh, so once you hit that lever, those trap doors with the water water behind them will flow out and push everything that's getting harvested down uh, into these these two chests here. I would like to do an automated farm, but that requires villagers. Hello, Beach Duck. Uh, this is a compact crop farm. Uh, it takes advantage of Minecraft mechanics, so when you hit that lever... Uh, you can plant stuff in there. These three dispensers will dispense bone meal to get it to grow. So if you want crops really fast, this is a fun little machine that will help you do that. At the expense of a lot of bone meal. It burns through a lot of bone meal. Um, because we're playing Skyblock, we're limited to 16 villagers per island. Uh, so if I tie up villagers in an automated crop farm, those are villagers that are not available for other things like trading. I've got a melon farm and a pumpkin farm over here. So the nice thing is, is this is very automatic. Every time one of those guys grows a melon or a pumpkin, just like that up there, uh, it triggers the piston that pushes it off and then, uh, it just slowly collects melons and, uh... Melons and pumpkins. 
the pumpkin farm doesn't grow doesn't produce the pumpkins as fast as the melon farm does though uh but i've expanded it and i might uh i might make that a little bit taller before things are done i don't know i've still got all my slime block areas marked off i just finished this today it's a wool farm uh in order to complete one of the challenges i'm gonna need 16 sheep one of each color so they're all sitting in this little chamber here and if you notice when they eat the grass they grow their wool back and the observer notices them eating the grass triggering a oh, let me let me show you the other side of that um i can actually tear some of that down now too so there's that one grass block that they're sitting on. There's a dispenser with with uh, some shears behind them. And underneath that dispenser is an observer. The observer is looking at that dirt block right there. So when that sheep eats the grass block and grows his wool back, that changes to a dirt block, triggering the observer, which powers that, which powers that dispenser, and it, the dispenser uses the shears to harvest the wool. Uh, normally, I'd like to have these guys each have their own independent storage, but because of the hopper limit in Skyblock, I can't do that. So uh, that hopper minecart just runs forth. I get a little automatic unloading station there, and I get wool in all the colors. And these guys get to live their nice little life, free range. I mean, sure, the enclosures are a little small, but, uh, you know, what Peta doesn't know won't hurt me. Um, eventually, I'm going to put a little roof on here. I'm going to take some of these spruce and dark oak planks and maybe do some stairs across the front. And then, uh, you know, fill in a couple of blocks off to the side where you can see it through the glass. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, free range. See? They're, 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 they're free to eat as much as they want. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how that works, isn't it? And on this side, I'm going to build a farm for the cows, a farm for pigs, and I'm going to move the chickens from the other side of the island over here. Because the, the, the challenge is to have eight cows, eight pigs, 16 chickens, and a sheep of every color within 40 meters. Four zero. Uh, each block is one meter, just so you know. Uh, in Minecraft, each block is one meter by one meter by one meter. And, uh, yeah. Um... No, no electricity needs to be generated. The lamps, those are glowstone. So that, that, is, that is their default property. They glow. They emit light. You can make lamps with them. Hey, Ken, how's it going? We got everybody showing up today. Um, so yeah, that, that is just a natural property of that stone. You can make lamps that you can turn on and off. Um, I was hoping that the mycelium platform here would generate some mushrooms, but I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, I'll just have to, I'll have to get them a different way. A couple of platforms for growing trees not really being used. Uh, I turned off the sugarcane farm because I really need sand. So the cactus farm has been the only farm running. And uh, I think you saw that coming earlier. And it's been working pretty well. Yeah, mushrooms. They're uh, mushrooms that they're, they're they're cows that have mushrooms on them. They're mushrooms. It's a special kind of cow. Uh, so that cactus farm's been working like a treat. I I at some point I'm going to remove the sugarcane farm from up here and build a second layer of cactus farm, and then just have the sugarcane farm somewhere else. Mob farm's still doing pretty good. I added a second layer, which has helped a lot. My, my sad-looking portal, which I will have to move and give a proper entrance. Those guys are getting moved over that way. 
Although, honestly, it is such a pain moving chickens. I got enough eggs, I might just uh, slaughter that group and uh, start some new ones over there. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Uh, I got a donkey that I picked up somewhere. I don't remember where. And I still got a couple of skeletal horses that I need to, I need to get up there. Um, and over here, I, I've had the best thing that I've had in a while, my little iron farm. Uh, this iron farm design actually came from somebody else's village. So Avomance did the basic idea. There's the link to that video. Uh, they are not on today, but they are all part of the group. So, uh, Rayest's Island is over there, and I'll do a quick, quick tour, and Arcadius's is, is over there. Um, I've been getting a little bit of iron. I, I guess I've got some. Uh, each one of those blocks is a, <laughs> is nine, each block is nine iron. So, yeah, I got two barrels of 64 blocks, uh, nine iron to beat, <laughs> um, I like this iron farm design over the one that I tend to use because I can still have access to these guys for trading. Since I don't do a lot of trading with them and they'll buy iron, uh, so they'll trade iron for emeralds, I leave them here. So there's three of my 16 villagers right there. Uh, that zombie back in the corner there scares the villagers which causes them to generate iron golems. And what makes my modification a little different than Avomance's design is I've got an automatic shutoff. So when this hopper backs up, that comparator sends a signal over here, which turns on that block right there, or I can do the manual shutoff, which uses a piston to push a glass pane into the zombie's head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah and because because of one of the weird quirks of Minecraft glass panes are transparent so it doesn't suffocate the zombie but it technically blocks line of sight between the zombies and the villagers so that, that allows me to turn the iron farm on and off with the flick of a switch if I want to manually turn it on and off. And it also allows me to do an automatic on off. Which is kind of cool. And I think that's... Yeah. Oh. Well. And I guess I need to come over to the, the central part too. Eventually I'm going to start moving this floor out. Yeah. I, I've got standard storage. I'd rather... <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather do automated storage myself, but again, the hopper limit kicks in. Yeah, you know, your typical enchanting station. Uh, I'm going to put an actual proper bedroom somewhere because I hate having stuff in front of the boxes. Found that out the hard way. Uh, this is what I'm gathering for the pyramid challenge. So I've got my stack of chisels of sandstone, my stack of sandstone stairs. I'm working on the slabs, and I'm going to need eight more stacks of sandstone. That's why... That's why I need to uh, expand out the cactus farm, because that's the only way to get sand, other than a wandering trader showing up and trading. And what he carries on him is a random roll of the dice. So I've got my little mini trading hall over here. I've got a couple of stone cutters that'll buy the stone for emeralds and sell me the quartz and a few things. Uh, I've got a couple of villagers where I've been buying my golden carrots to eat. And some of the other stuff, my lone cleric who's uh, been getting quite the workout because I, I need the lapis for blue dye, the redstone for a lot of the machines, and the glowstone for lighting. There was a guy here, but he disappeared mysteriously after an AFK session. I'm deeply disturbed by this and frustrated because he was my guy that sold efficiency four bucks. There was a guy here, but he mysteriously disappeared. And I am absolutely frustrated because he sold my sharpness books <laughs> there was a guy here <laughs> yeah I, I don't know what happened I did an AFK session and those three guys just poof no idea what happened just I came back to I came back and uh, they they were gone 
So I'm going to have to get three more villagers. Uh, these, guy, these guys are still working. The ones with the blue banners behind them sell me glass, which I need for the river project. And, oh, yeah, did you notice that? Two of the three that are missing were guys that were selling me glass. Um, oh, I had to put the roof up because this is not the first time that I've lost villagers. You see, in a lightning storm, if a lightning strike hits close enough to a villager, it converts them to witches. So I did, I did an AFK session, and then I found these three guys turned into witches. That's why the cartographers that were originally there aren't there anymore. <laughs> this has been a little frustrating. I, I need to build up a, the platform over where they are so I can tear this temporary roof down and give them a little more of an open, open structure. Um, and that's that for there. Uh, yeah, Thunderstorm... If... A villager gets struck by lightning or is close enough to lightning, they get turned into witches. If a pig gets struck by lightning, it turns into a zombie pigman. If sheep get struck by lightning, they get turned into cooked mutton. Let's uh, let's head over this way real quick. This is Reyes style, and she hasn't been on as much lately because work schedule's been a little special. Uh, so she has not finished her her floor over here. Let me try not to fall into the void as I walk across the one <laughs> one wide uh, half slab walkway. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's one of the, the, the zombie pig things, been, that's been a thing since the very early days of Minecraft. Same, same with the witches. Um, and, and so it's just one of the, one of the mechanics that stayed. Uh, there is, we are playing a special version of Minecraft called Skyblock. So there is no world. There is a void. Everybody starts with an island. You see that one with a red border? That is pretty much what everybody's island starts as. You get a tree, a box of starter gear, and that. And that's all you have. You have to understand Minecraft mechanics in a much deeper way. So you know how to make a cobblestone generator. To cook cobblestone to stone, to use the stone to make bricks, uh, and so on and so forth as you go. Uh, to supplement some of that are challenges. So you turn in, uh, where is it? Yeah, so since everybody starts with an oak tree, you harvest enough oak trees to get enough apples, and then you'll get a sapling of each tree, and so on and so forth as you go. And as you complete challenges, you'll get more stuff that you can use to build out your island even more. Um, but even then, not all the challenges give you a really good, uh, out and out solid item generation benefit. It just gives you the things you need to combine with what you already have to make more things. Um, Reyes has got, we're still working on the staircase. So this is the messy part. Don't look. <laughs> she gives me flack about my storage, scattering a random boxes. <laughs> Uh, so Rayest has her manual cactus farm, her manual tree farm. Um, she's working on the animal farm, so she's got her 16 chickens. She's working on the sheep and the cows. I'm not sure what's supposed to go in there or in there. Something will for sure, though. And the pigs. And she's got her little manual crop farms over here, too. Um, uh, th this is where you start to see... Uh, it could be a fish farm. That is an option. And that's what Rayest has going right now. So, a lot of manual farms. She's building up the design a little bit. Uh... 
I love automating everything. So the you know this is one of those. Here is how you can tell the personalities of the people, because the way Skyblock is set up, I can visit Reyes Island, but I cannot interact with it in any way, shape, or form. So I'm on her island. It's her island. I can't open the chests. I can't harvest the crops. I can't break blocks. Uh, it is her island. I can visit, and that's it. So you see that, you know, she likes nice, big, symmetrical things um, that are pretty and laid out, but manual. Uh, my stuff is automated as all get out. Uh <laughs> None of it's very, none of it's exactly what you'd call pretty. Uh, yeah, it does give a nice feel to each area. So, you know, I got a lot of farms that are automated and, and machines that manage as much of the stuff as you can and a little bit of pretty on top. Not much. And it's not that pretty. But, uh, oh yeah, I, I got one of my skeleton horses up here, a regular horse in his uh, totally diamond armor. Made out of leather. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that Beast Lord, that is a bit of an in joke. Um, Ken was the GM for our DD &D group for a long while, and Rayest was playing an artificer that liked to make things go moo. So, so she, yeah, so she used to have a duck that goes moo, a and it was wonderful. Oh, that was Arcadius's GM, wasn't it? Okay, that, that was actually a little bit before I joined the group as a full, full-time adventurer. So, for some reason, I thought it was yours, though. Or was yours the scion that she asked that infamous, does it breathe? Yes, she she does always like fires. Yep, yep, I have a wand for that. And we got X Medic Frog. He's building over here. He is going to start building a moat that matches up with the river that I've got going. So he's going to do the fog effect, just like I am, up to the border of the moat. Um, I can't show you in the towers because again it's his island. I can't <laughs> I can't go through the doors. But he's got a little tower that gets you up onto the walls and you can walk the patrols. He's got some nice little manual laid out farms for the melons and the pumpkins and things. But you'll notice that he is much bigger on the decoration. And he's got some automation, like the automatic cactus farm there. But he X Medic Frog really gets into the armor stands and it shows. So he's got, you know, the little guy cooking up on the grill. And, you know, the little flower vendor. And cats everywhere. <laughs> I I don't even know where else to go on his island. It's been a while. I like his bee farm. This is one of the things that I really need to get going. Um Yeah, I'm getting to Arcadius's island next. Yeah, um, villagers, if you have enough villagers in an area, villagers will actually randomly spawn cats. Uh, because I have the two tamed cats where I do, it technically looks like the cats are already there, so more don't spawn. Because he's got the free-range cats floating everywhere, they wander out of the range the game checks to, before determining if it should spawn another cat or not. So that's why he's got a few more floating around. Uh, oh, and those bees have a custom texture that we use ourselves. So they got the little Corallus bug eyes. Yeah, he's got a lot of cats. That, that I know that's been a point of frustration for him too. He's got a few more things around the island, but I can't open the doors to show you, unfortunately. So uh, we'll, we'll have to get him to do like he's got his little nether wart growing area in the deep dark underground uh, and he's got his villagers up in a nice little house up there he's got little drop shoots to the various other lower levels on his island 
Um, it really is nice. Let, let me... Can, can I... Can I pull an Oliver Twist over here and look in the... Yeah. So you can see where he's doing a lot of the decoration and stuff. Uh, like this patio. This this is beautiful. I love it. I love... I didn't even know the patio was done. Oh, because he's in the middle of working on it. <laughs> like, where I do a tree farm, that's a... a brutally practical platform he's got a tree farm that has some chained down logs as decoration and little stacks of lumber off to the side and again this is this is where you see the difference between uh between who does what you know he does some automation some manual and really goes in on the detail decoration. And I'm trying to specify clearly between the two because Arcadius does a lot of decoration, but it's of the landscape and structure variety. So now we're on Arcadius's island. He's got the warp nylium for all the grass. And he's just got these beautiful buildings, like this with the quartz base and the little wishing well in the middle. Uh, I still think you should put a lamp or something inside to get a little more light in here. Uh, but with the prismarine bricks and prismarine blocks, and it, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, there's a little diorite tower, which I think has a guy in there. Is there a guy in there? Yeah, that's where his clerics are, in the little diorite tower. <laughs> yeah, he's got the little graveyard over here. With the random chickens for some reason. And, okay. I'm still a little cranky about this. That material right there. The ancient debris. That, that's, uh... <laughs> that, that, that's so that's a later game material that really... You use it to make the netherite ingots. It takes two of those and two gold ingots to make a netherite ingot to upgrade a piece of gear to netherite. And this joker's over here using it as decoration. <laughs> I do like his statuary too. That that's that's nice. I like the statuary. Um, let's see. He's got a he's got a bunch of really nice ones floating. Like should I stick to the path? Oh, 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 oh. I haven't been sleeping. I haven't been sleeping. Oh. Flash IS. Ah, let me, let me, hang on. <laughs> Go away. I can't kill you because you're not on my island. <laughs> Teleport can't, oh, teleport's canceled because, <laughs> because they're hitting me and I'm swinging at stuff. Hang on, hang on. Minor panic. <clears throat> let me, uh. Oh, that's right. It brings me up here. It doesn't bring me down. To... <laughs> no, no, I can't even defend myself because there are monsters on his island. <laughs> okay. Uh, island warp. All right, let's head back to his island. Now, because I did the warp instead of walking down the path, I ended up at his main little building. So he's got his bed, his storage, and a little spiral staircase up to the top. Um, I, li I like to give him a hard time because he builds some of the most compact builds. <laughs> I like building stuff with space. But... He, he likes building things compact, but they look good. So, I mean, I can't hate too much. Let's, uh, let's wrap up this tour here. So his little palace, his compact palace, uh, he ended up putting a bunch of tame cats around here because he had... Where are they? They're over in front of the other door, aren't they? Yeah. Because um, for a while, he didn't have... 
he didn't have his uh, island very mob proofed. That's a very Arcadius thing. And he'd randomly get blown up by creepers when he was going AFK. Fun game mechanic, though, is that creepers are afraid of cats. They will actively run away from cats. So by having those two guys there and then AFKing inside the building, if any creepers tried to approach, the cats would scare them away and they'd run off. But, I mean, that's gorgeous. And his little dragon statue. I'll leave that uncommented upon. Oh, the and the cat the cat mechanic in this game has been upgraded since uh originally you used to have to find ocelots and tame them. Now they spawn as a part of villagers, and if you have a tamed cat that is not sitting down, uh when you sleep they have a random chance to actually bring you something, like string or a bit of leather or a spider eye or something like that. Um, they will also, <laughs> they will also, uh, sleep on your bed, preventing you from sleeping there. They will sit on your chests, preventing you from opening them. So <laughs> the, the, the cats really are a bit of a mixed bag, kind of like the real thing. Uh, <clears throat> I think he's got some sort of farm over here behind this door. Yeah. Yeah. It's the kind that makes me sad. Um. I, I like giving Arcadius a hard time about his redstone. He's got some villagers back there. And again, since I can't get in the doors, uh, I'll stop spamming the... Uh, you can't open that here. I think he's got a guy over in this hut over here, too. Can I, can I be Oliver Twist? Yeah, that's his blacksmith. In his compact living arrangement. I, I guess tiny houses are all the craze over here. No, that's right. I can't uh, trade with his villagers either. I like the little river runs through it. And, and he actually... He's got his little sugarcane patch. Uh, a farm of some sort in there. I think that's a melon pumpkin farm, if I remember right. And he's got a little hedge maze. So it's a little hedge mage on a uh, on a half slab. <laughs> that it it is awesome, and he's got a little fisherman in the hut over by the little fishing pond, which is also awesome. No, I'm not going to try to run the maze right now. And I like the elevation changes; it really gives the island a better feel. I will be adopting that for my own island too. I don't know how, I don't know where, but I will be adopting some more elevation changes because I do, I, I am going to absolutely steal that idea from him. Oh, the Royal Gardener. He fishes on his day off. Yeah, he's got a nice little uh, temple for his nether portal. It won't let me go through that because it's his portal, not mine. And I think that wraps up everything that I can show without being able to open up a door. Oh, uh, this is where Medic was checking to see if uh, you can hatch a chicken on somebody else's island, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, apparently in uh, Skyblock, it checks where the egg originated, not where it lands. So if you're a neighbor, you can throw an egg over the fence and it will hatch a chicken over there. I almost forgot about his... Beautifully arranged artisanal crop farm. <laughs> and he's got a couple of a couple of villagers in there. He's got a bigger farm operation in there. The interior of the building looks amazing. Because where those trap doors are, it's designed to look like a rolling door. So you got the, the chains and he's got uh, the grindstone set as a pulley. So it looks like a pulley. Um, and yeah, it looks amazing. I can't open the door and go in. Uh, so I, otherwise I'd show you that one. 
uh, we will definitely be doing a grand tour of everybody's island when we finally switch over to uh, 1.18. Because when 1.18 is finally released, what about the... I can't get in the windmill either. I did show that one, though. Oh, no. Door's not open. And he's gone through a few different windmill designs. I, I think this is probably the best one yet, though. Um, I can see why some people try to make it work with banners, because it, it, it does look like there should be some sort of cloth, but banners don't really... They only work vertical, not when you're trying to do some horizontal stuff. And the streetlights. Lighting up the island. I think I think what I I think I might need to log in one of these days with the admin account and make an armor stand Don Quixote with a lance charging at that windmill. That's a thought. <laughs> And that is more or less where things are at. Uh, Arcadius has a couple of things down underneath the main of his island, but there's not much to show there. Uh, you know, the basic mob farm and pretty much the bare minimum redstone to accomplish a couple of the challenges. Uh, let me... Uh, whereas Medic's got his iron farm. It's a little bit different setup. You know, there's a hundred different ways to do an iron farm. Uh, he's got his kelp farm, and that is something that I need to work on on mine. I'm probably going to do it a little bit closer to the way Arcadius did his, and I wonder if I can get into a position where I can see that. Um, yeah, so he's got an automated kelp farm. There it is. So there are observers watching the kelp, and when the kelp grows, the observer triggers a piston that harvests the kelp. Um, which, which is a little bit closer to what I want to do. I need to get my guardian farm up and running, too. Because uh, I, I really could use some sea lanterns. Yeah, Medic's got his sheep and cows and such, and his little guardian farm there which he's in the middle of finishing, but it's not quite done yet. And he's got his cactus farm in that nice, neat enclosure. And again, th this is illustrating the differences between, uh, you know, bare minimal farming, uh, whatever makes it, whatever makes it happen. Uh, decorative farming. Highly technical farming that does not look good at all. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting look at how each of us manages the different stuff in our own way. And that's not a bad yield. I just finished that before you did the raid. Well, and I do I do plan on coming back and decorating the rest of the outside of this eventually. I want to move this uh, somewhere else. I want to move this little apparatus somewhere else and then give that a proper decoration. I'll wrap this farm up in decoration now that I know that the design works about as well as I can get it to work. Um, I added the window, and what I might do is uh, I'll take this outer wall here on each of these sides... Uh, we are giving ourselves a limit. We're playing the Skyblock until 1.18 releases. Because what ended up happening is when we were getting ready to wrap up Season 1, uh, Mo Yang decided to split the Caves and Cliffs update into two parts. And if we had just gone with 1.17, we wouldn't then be able to upgrade it to 1.18 and get the new terrain generation features. So we're kind of skipping over 1.17 and playing Skyblock until 1.18 releases. And when 1.18 is released, we will then uh, go back to playing in a vanilla world 
under the vanilla rules? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> sometime in December is, is about all we've got. Pre-release 1 is now making the rounds for testing. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, well, you say not too far. But it's not like there isn't precedence for for unfortunate things to be found um, in the middle of development where you go, oh, hmm, <laughs> you know. Thank you for stopping by, Ken. Uh, I'm not too far behind you right now because uh, it is it is already 9:30, and uh, I, I got I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. Uh, I don't remember if I showed this off either. It, it's a little flower farm. Uh, one of the fun aspects of flowers that are two blocks high is when you hit them with bone meal, another one pops off. So I've got a dispenser rigged in the back so that as long as it has bone meal, it dispenses it and you get end up with a one for one on the, uh, on the flower. Why do you want all those flowers? Well, for dye. So the yellow, the sunflowers turn into yellow dye, the rose bushes turn into red dye, and you get pink and magenta. Or is it magenta? No. Yeah, pink and magenta from those guys. Uh, most, I don't need that much pink or magenta, but it's one of those things that I built it because, well, I mean, if I'm going to build a farm, I'm going to build all the farm. I'm not, I'm not going to build just part of the farm. Where's the fun in that? All right, let me put that away. <laughs> and uh, I can't... Were you, were you around when I was... A uh, cobblestone generator. Uh, we are playing with a, modify, a mod that as you level your island... It gives you a random chance to draw to generate more than just cobblestone. What generates in its likelihood uh, changes as you level up your island. So you start off with all cobble, then mostly cobble, uh, and it goes up from there. And so that's how you can get resources like redstone and ancient debris and diamonds and coal and clay and all that kind of stuff. And I got a nice little semi, well, no, actually it is kind of fully automatic smelting. Um, this input chest will split items between these two furnaces and then collate them back down into this chest. And I've got a carpet. I, I don't usually play with too much of that. Um, it is island size, so it counts like a point for a slab of this type, a point for a slab of this type, uh, and totals it up. I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. So the more blocks you place down, the higher your island level goes, but there is a point of diminishing returns. Like, you, you're not just going to carpet a giant block of cobblestone slabs and go, ha, I have the highest rated island. Um, it, there, There is a diminishing return mechanic where past a certain point, you just... You don't. You get less and less points for each block. So if we go island level, my current island level is six hundred and twelve point fifteen. Uh, ignore that rank is one. That's out of who's logged in, and I can see at a glance, I've got forty-one animals, and the the sky block caps you at a max of 64. I got six monsters, and I'm trying to figure out where that sixth one is. Um, I, I am more than modestly disturbed about that, that I have no idea where that extra monster is. Um, I, I need to get my villagers back up to max, uh, the golems and the, the hoppers. And, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few other good fun things that you can do with this too but we we kept it pretty pretty simple and straightforward oh i don't think i showed that part either um because i know it's been a while since you last saw let me grab all right oh that's all i got for gold ingots um 
we're going to take a quick trip into the nether. Uh, no, no, because if it was zombies, it would have converted the villagers to zombies. If it was skeletons, it would have targeted the iron golems that were there first. And, uh, yeah, pretty much all the things that could have done it would have done some other stuff differently. <laughs> this area needs a lot more love, but I don't think that's going to happen by the time we get to the end. Um, Reyes has not made it to the nether yet. That is, that is, per that is your starting nether island right there. It's just like in the overworld. Uh, you get a little cone of ne upside down cone of ne netherrack and uh, good luck. <laughs> uh, the only difference is instead of the void, you get to watch everything burn because it's nothing but a lake of lava. Oh, dude, get off the platform! The lava's right there next to you. Uh, <laughs> one of the one of the recently added features are the striders. They spawn in lava lakes. And you can actually put a saddle on them and ride them. But what's really funny is because they're they're supposed to live in the lava lakes. They're happy and red when they're in the lava. But they get cold and shiver when they're not in the lava. <laughs> uh, Medic's got his bare bones island over there. Arcadius, for some reason, ended up, kept spawning up there instead of there and, and so randomness ensued um but this this was one of the fun little bits uh fill this dropper here and the way it's set up these guys these piglins which i have named larry curly mo and chump These guys will trade gold ingots for various items. So I've got a little system back there. there there's a pressure plate. The, these guys here, these uh, piglins that I have named, I've got four of them in there. Larry, Curly, Moe, and Shemp. Uh, there's a little system back there with a pressure plate. So that way you fill... You fill that dispenser with gold ingots. Hit this button and it will start offering them gold for trading. So they'll look at the gold ingot for a little while and they'll give you one of a small number of random items and they'll throw it on the ground. There's a hopper underneath that uh, carpet there. And then it picks up all the things that I can get from them. So they'll give you gravel and leather and crying obsidian and obsidian and iron ingot, iron nuggets, sorry. Soul sand, potions of fire resistance, which are always nice. Nether quartz and fire charges. That Those can get kind of fun. Uh, and just all sorts of other stuff. That's a small selection of what they'll, they'll give you. Uh, actually, no, now that I think about it, that might be everything. No, no, Blackstone would also be in there. Um, and maybe one or two other things. But yeah, so... But the, the fun thing about them versus the villagers, the villagers give you trading where you'll specify what you're giving, what you're receiving. These guys, it's random. You give them a golden ingot, and they'll toss whatever on the ground. <laughs> it is a fun little mechanic, though. But as you can see, I haven't done much at all with my uh, nether island. Uh, I put a perimeter up so I knew where the edges were. Uh, somebody, <coughs> medic frog, um, didn't fully mob proof their side of the, their island. So I keep getting assaulted by ghasts every time I get a little too close. And since they're on his island, I can't exactly kill them. <laughs> I mean, if I shoot the arrow from my side of the island, I can kill them. And, and that's for whenever Reyes makes it to the nether. Although I don't think she will by the time 1.18 drops. And this is just the temporary setup that I had for, uh, for working in the nether. 
I keep this set up because, and there's no way to prevent this, the obsidian where the nether portal frame is will randomly spawn zombie pigmen. And I don't want them wandering around my island. So I have it set up. Uh, their pathfinding thinks they can walk on the trap door. So they will walk forward and fall into the void. <laughs> oh yeah. In my little egg farm. Just a flock of chickens. They drop eggs. I kind of need a way to turn that off. But the only way to turn that off is to kill the chickens. Which, you know, that that's not the... Yeah. Alright, let me, uh, let me park myself safe. <laughs> and this is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. I stream Coffee Craft definitely every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Fridays, uh, I was doing a really good job of steady games revisited for some time. Uh, life got a little, a little special here lately, and so I haven't been able to manage that quite as well as I'd wanted to. Uh, hopefully, within the next week or two, I'm going to finish up the Zelda series for Games Revisited, and then I'm probably going to put that on hold until the new year before starting the next one, just because I know that with the, uh, with the holidays, um, it, I, I, with the holidays and everything else, I'm probably not going to start something new until the new year and right now i'm thinking i'm thinking of playing the first witcher game in the series for the next uh for the next games revisited um uh, you know so we'll see let me no well, normally i'd raid beast lord and i still gotta get i still gotta get the uh i gotta get i gotta get that uh shout out thing going. I, I've got I've got all the stuff to do that. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Uh, is Grimly on? No, Grimly's not on. Oh man. Nobody's on. Huh. That's weird. Usually there's somebody that I'll grade. Alright then uh I guess no raid going out tonight. Have fun. Enjoy. And I will see you next time. If you haven't already, give Beast Lord a follow and all that good fun stuff. Uh, give X Medic Frog a follow too. He will get back to streaming at some point. Work schedule is, uh, you know, one of those things. Thank you. And yes, I am working on the sleep. Uh, th I took today off so I could get in touch with doctors and whatnot and try to get some of that stuff squared away. One step at a time. <laughs>